morning and welcome subscribers. Today we are going to be considering the Laffer Curve. This is something that I have been looking at when considering the whole notion of fiscal policy, which is of course to do with government spending on the one hand and taxation on the other. And the Laffer Curve considers the whole notion of taxation and tax rates and in particular, which tax rate is most appropriate and is likely to bring in the most revenue. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight to the diagram. This is the Laffer curve here, as you can see. Sometimes it's drawn uh, vertically, sometimes horizontally. I think when you draw it this way, it's a little bit easier to interpret. So, imagine a world, ladies and gentlemen, where the tax rate was 100%. What incentive would that provide you to go to work if, at the end of your working day, at the end of your working week or month, instead of receiving a paycheck or a wage, you actually received a bill uh, from your employer to go to work? Well, of course, people would not be willing to go to work. And consequently, the tax revenue when the tax rate is 100%, the tax revenue would be zero. Therefore, it would be in the government's interests to start to reduce the tax rate. And as the, the tax rate was reduced, some people, maybe not a lot when the uh, tax rates were very high, but some people would then consider it to be worthwhile starting to go into employment. And as a consequence of that, the tax revenue so the rate is dropping and the tax revenue would start to rise as we move in this direction. So we're talking about really the incentive effects with regard to people wishing to go to work or stay at home. What about the flip side of the same coin? What if the tax rate was 0%? Well, of course, if the tax rate was 0%, then the government, from its point of view, would collect zero income tax. But, again, as the tax rate in this instance starts to rise and people do start to uh, obviously work and your tax base then starts to expand, then as the tax rate increases, so too does your tax revenue. Now, the whole point of the Laffer Curve is to say that at some point, these two competing objectives come together at a point where the tax revenue will be maximised. Now, this is not for a government to use this model necessarily to say, OK, 52.5% uh, is the correct uh, level of taxation in order to maximise your total revenue. That's not what it's for. But it is to suggest to governments that the way in which you can maximise your tax revenue is to have a low tax economy rather than a high tax economy. Now, one of the interesting things about the diagram is, if you consider um, a, a certain point here, so if you consider point X, which is here, and we take this up through the curve, like so. So you can see there are two tax rates, there's one there, and there's one there, two tax rates, a high one and a low one, just call that high and low, which will deliver the same amount of tax revenue. Now, if you are a government, which would you prefer? Would you prefer to have a low tax economy, where there are great incentive effects for your uh, employees and your employers, or would you prefer to have a high tax rate, where the disincentive effects are rather strong? I think we'd all agree that we'd prefer to be somewhere in this region rather than in this region. And so, ladies and gentlemen, to finish, there are two effects going on here. One of them is the economic effect, and one of them is the arithmetic effect. The arithmetic effect is this, that whenever you uh, start from a 0% tax rate, and you then start to increase the uh, rate of tax, you will obviously then start to increase the amount of tax revenue that you collect. That is the arithmetic effect. The economic effect is, of course, why are you collecting more tax uh, revenues in this instance? It's because the incentive effects for workers are much stronger because they're paying minimal amount of taxes. Therefore, you're expanding output, 
you're expanding the, the workforce and you're expanding your overall tax base. Flip that over to the other side in terms of the arithmetic effect up here. So the arithmetic effect is that as you then start to increase your tax rates, higher, ever higher and higher and higher, then your tax revenue is starting to decline. And why is that? That is because of the economic effect whereby your tax base is shrinking because of the disincentive effects to work. So there are a lot of things that we can say about this. Uh, very straightforward and simple model, but this has been around for uh, 18, 20, 19, 20, a couple of hundred years probably, this whole notion of this uh, kind of incentive, disincentive effects of tax. Anyway, that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Laffer Curve. Bye for now.